Hi there, I'm Dr. Jawad, a chiropractor and a functional medicine specialist. Functional medicine is a science and practice of restoring health and reversing chronic health problems. I use specialized laboratory testing, not offered by traditional doctors, to discover the underlying cause of your current condition to create your individual healthcare plan. I do not look for the what that is causing your issues, I look for the why that is causing your chronic illnesses. So work with me and get the professional help you deserve to begin feeling yourself again. Click on the link below to schedule your free 15 minute consultation. We can talk over the phone, face to face or over Zoom. Thank you very much and have a great day. Okay, this is Dr. Jawad. I'm answering an email question if I take too much 5-HTP, will that deplete my stores of dopamine? The answer is yes. The reason being is I just want you to focus on this right here. Because when you take an L-tryptophan or L-tyrosine, there's a couple things that happen. One, the conversion of L-tryptophan to 5-HTP has a rate limiting step. That means that your body's only going to utilize what it needs and it's going to screen out the rest. This is why you can't have a boatload of anything and think it's going to benefit and you're going to store it. No, and the body's going to say, I only need this amount and I'm going to throw away that amount. So with L-tryptophan and tyrosine, tyrosine affects L-dopa. One of the things that tyrosine does, it maintains the normal levels of L-dopa without fluctuations of tyrosine. The problem is with L-tyrosine, L-tyrosine and iodine, they make up what? thyroid hormone. So when you're taking in too much tyrosine or L-phenylalanine, what's going to happen thinking that you're going to boost your, your dopamine levels, yes you will, but also you may affect your thyroid. So the increase of whatever dopamine may actually be thyroid hormone. And it's a problem if you, especially if you have autoimmune, if you have Hashimoto's or hyperthyroid, you don't want to add any more fuel to the fire. The thing is, the conversion of 5-HTP to serotonin and L-dopa to dopamine shares the same enzyme, the triple AD, and that's the aromatic amino acid decarboxylase. Here's another safety mechanism. So what happens is that it shares the same amino enzyme called the triple AD, aromatic amino acid decarboxylase, and it acts as a teeter-totter. So if you take in too much 5-HTP, what's going to happen, it's going to favor the serotonin, and like a teeter-totter, you're going to have low dopamine. Let's flip it over. If you take in too much L-tyrosine or L-dopa or muconopurians, what's going to happen? You're going to have too much dopamine and not enough serotonin. It's a balance. So you have to monitor the balance. The thing about 5-HTP versus uh, tryptophan is that 5-HTP is more direct to serotonin because we have this blood-brain barrier. It's like a cellophane wrap over the brain, which allows only certain things to pass through. 5-HTP is one of them. Now as to L-tyrosine and L-dopa and muconopurians, same thing. It bypasses the, gate, the gatekeeper and it hits the brain directly. So this is why sometimes these supplements are, are more effective. But the thing is, what you have to watch out for is that triple AD. And that's how you get increased serotonin or, in, or too, and too little dopamine or too much dopamine and too little serotonin. So this is where you have to, you gotta monitor it. Supplements, 5-HTP, I always recommend anywhere from 100 to 300 milligrams a day spread out because remember 5-HTP has a lot of purposes. One is control mood, anxiety, um, hunger, sleep, dopamine. Again, controls movement, balance, mood as well. So you, don't, so you wanna be careful not to throw it off too much. Now, muconipurians, I did a video, I put the link down below. What this does, it, it, it hijacks the L-dopa system without affecting tyrosine. So the L-dopa -dopa levels are increased, which bleeds into the catecholamines, but it doesn't affect the thyroid, which is great for people who have hyperthyroid or Hashimoto. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps. Be good. All right, thank you for watching the video. Most importantly, I hope that you learned something. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it, the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. In addition, if you find that this information is valuable and if you want a free 15 minute consultation, please hit the link down below. It'll take you to my website. Again, we could talk either face to face, on Zoom, or on a phone call. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Be good.